Dave and welcome to Carve Tools. In this video, I will show you how I did an inexpensive repair to my rotted out porch column. This column is damaged at the base and needs to be replaced or repaired. I had already removed the base molding, then decided to make this video. The damage goes above where the base molding should be, and to cover that area, I would need a base molding up to here. The other side could simply be repaired with wood filler. Please note this warning. This is a non-load bearing post, but if your post is a load bearing type, the load must be properly supported before removing that post. My post is basically a box using 1x10 finger joint cedar. To remove the damaged portion, I will cut the column 36 inches from the base with my DeWalt circular saw. I cut each side and left a notch to join the new cedar board to the old one. Now here is the cutout section removed. And here is the non-load bearing column with two sides two inches longer. The old column ran all the way down to the concrete, but I'm going to build a new base out of 2 by 4 treated lumber. I will drill a hole in the center of this 2 by 4 and bolt it to the concrete. Oops, sorry the camera fell over when I was drilling the hole. Looking in my nut and bolt box, I found this quarter inch wedge concrete anchor. I will use this roof and shingle as a barrier between the concrete and wood. As I start the nut on the boat, I notice the base is not level. I cut two wedges and slide them under the base and use a hammer to tap them in until the base is level. The excess of the wedge hanging out I will cut it with a small handsaw. Okay, I tighten up the bolt on the base and it's all secure. I will fill in the gaps with some leftover caulking I had in the garage. Here is the new 1x10 cedar finger joint material I purchased at my local building supply company. I've got one piece cut and in place and realize, Houston, we have a problem. These days, doing repairs like this, you will find that wooden manufacturers save money by reducing the thickness of lumber. It's a long story, but that's just the way it is. Next time you go to your local home center, take your tape measure. Pick up a 2 by 4 It's probably not the normal inch and a half by three and a half inches. Anyway, here's the problem. The thickness of the existing 1 by 10 cedar is actually 3 quarters of an inch. The new 1 by 10 is 5 eighths of an inch. This is going to leave a 1 8 inch gap on both sides and I will have to compensate for that. Here I add some 2 by 4 blocks to nail the new cedar. To fill in the 2 1 8 inch gaps, I cut a strip a quarter inch and add it to the 1 by 10 with glue and nails. The added strip will fill in the 1 8 inch gap on each side. Okay, I almost finished making the new column box. Here this notch will give a little more support to this non-load bearing column. Now 
Now it's time to add some 1x8 base molding and I'll make that cut on my Sears radial arm saw since I do not have a sliding compound saw. This is the first piece of 1x8 and it has a 45 degree miter on each end. Okay, got the base molding mounted and it's in place and it's looking good. Now to cover the joint, I will add a piece of trim of 1x3 using miter joints also. The other column is not rotted out and I would just add some trim to it to make it look like the new one. Here's a picture again of the damaged column and the new section installed. Again, this is a non-load bearing column. It is not actually supporting the roof. I use caulking to fill in any gaps and cover up the recessed nails. Here's the column with a fresh coat of paint and the 1x3 trim in the middle hides the joint. This repair costs a little less than $50 and to replace the entire column it would have cost about $150 in material. In this video I didn't show every little detail how to nail this and how to cut that but I think you get a general idea how I made this repair and I hope it's been helpful to you. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. I'm Dave. This is the Carve Tools Channel. Have a great day.